All right, so I've got some really nice plums there. They're super juicy. I, um, I grew them myself. Yeah, that's right. And um, I, I rolled a uh, short crust dough. It's the dough from the uh, tomato tart. Works just as fine. And this is just an almond filling frangipan. There's, uh, there's recipes all over YouTube for this. I'm not going to bother showing it. It's too easy. But I was um, I was short on the because uh, I only had a little bit of uh, almond paste. So I just mixed in some pastry cream with it and a spoonful of flour because the pastry cream with the plums would make it too sloppy. Uh, as soon as the, the plums start to bake, they're going to drop their uh, juice. And with the pastry cream in the frangipan, it would have been too wet and the whole thing would have come out very wet and soggy. So, that's where we're at. This couldn't get any simpler. I mean, uh, uh, pack them in because they're going to shrink right up to the edge like that. Oh, get off, silly buggers. <laughs> oh, so we got just enough, I say. Right? I think that's just fine. And let's slap it in the oven at 350. And we'll see what happens. I'll be right back. In the meantime, I'm going to eat the rest of this plum. See ya. Five minutes at 350 and it's cooked around the edges you can see. Well, it's browned around the edges, it's cooked all the way through. And uh, rather than glaze it'll just dredge it with powdered sugar. And the sugar will melt off the plums where it's damp. And I'll, uh, I'll let it cool, slice it and then I'm going to give it to my neighbour. I can't eat all this. He's got a family, I don't. So that's